What's going on dudes and dudettes? In today's episode, we're going to talk about cryoboost therapy, Instagram marketing, and vegetables. Hello, and welcome to episode 94 of Tip for Tip, where you ask your marketing question in exchange for a tip in your industry. My name's Aaron. And my name is Christian. Today we have Dave from CryoBoost Out. All right, my question for Bit Branding is, how do I localize my advertising on Instagram? Dave, very good question. All right, so Instagram is actually very easy to advertise locally. So first thing to do is whenever you're using a post or you're putting on a post, make sure that you tag the location or tap the location. And um, you can tag CryoBoost Allen, um, or you can just tag Allen Texas in the post. In the hashtags that you use in the comment section, make sure you put Allen TX or Allen Texas or other relevant hashtags for that area, and it will start to show up on those feeds. As of a couple of weeks ago from the airing of this show, um, you can actually follow hashtags now. So you could go out, follow hashtags, and actually engage with people locally, um, and they would be able to follow your local hashtag. So brand new way to do that. Um, so it's a great time for this question. Another one is Instagram stories. When you're creating a story, you can click the little smiley face up in the right hand corner, click location and tag Allen. Most of the time right now it's getting added to the Allen story. So that's free exposure for your business. Um, and then you can also tag other businesses there as well that you're partnering with, or even tag yourself inside of the story and have people click over to a profile. So yeah, everything that Aaron talked about was more of a you know posting on the feed and the stories. Uh, you can also run advertising uh, and target local people around your area. And beyond those two things, you can also partner up with local influencers and really grow your reach. All right, let's hear your tip for us. My tip is for all you entrepreneurs out there, business owners, cryotherapy is a perfect tool. Being a business owner myself, I know about stress, overwork, no sleep. Cryotherapy helps reset your system, gives you that energy, makes you feel good, and so you can focus on that business and make it work. Aaron, you can talk about this because you've done cryo before. Yes, and I have actually used CryoBoost Allen um, even before he came on the show. Um, I was kind of skeptical at first because I was like, you know, is it really going to work? But I can honestly say that um, I left and I was training for a run. I left there that day feeling like I had started my first day of training. So I know that as a business owner, I talk to a lot of them and they're constantly like aches and pains from the shoulders or like leaning over for shows like this or their computers. Um, and I really think that that can, yes, that could actually help you. Um, so business owners using cryo it may be a very good option. They have a lot of other things that go with the cryo, but um, I think that's a great tip, especially for business owners. All right, and today's question of the day is, what's your favorite vegetable? Uh, apples. So, <laughs> Dave, thanks again for coming on today's show. If you're a business owner just like Dave, you got this far into the video, make sure you go to bitbrainy.co forward slash tip for tip. Even if this is your first video, I um, think you're going to have a lot of fun and we will give you free Facebook advertising and exposure for your business. Um, so go ahead and there you go. Click the button that's popping up and we'll see you guys in a few weeks. Bye.